Hi guys, it's Jess with Jess is Blessed and today's video is going to be on a highly requested topic which is cloth diapering while traveling. And the reason I waited so long to make this video is because I didn't have a lot of experience with cloth diapering and traveling. I had done lots of like day trips but never any extended periods of cloth diapering while not at home. So for those of you that know, my husband recently had a traumatic injury. I had gone up to the hospital to be with my husband. As soon as I got the call that he was hurt, I went up there and I was only there with him for maybe 10, 15 minutes and they decided to life flight him to the next nearest major hospital. So I rushed home and I started preparing to go to be with him. One recommendation that I have immediately right off the bat is to have some cloth diapers, a, an overnight bag or a couple nights prepared if you have enough diapers to have a bag ready to go in an emergency situation I highly recommend that because I didn't have a bag prepared at all I was trying to rush to get both my baby's diaper bags I was trying to get diapers I was also trying to prepare everything else clothes for everybody snacks bottles you know everything hygiene items everything on top of trying to prepare the cloth diapers that we were going to need while we were out of town. I have two babies in cloth diapers and so I needed a lot of diapers. Granted, I have a lot of diapers, but it would have been easy if I'd at least had the essentials packed like cloth wipes or disposable wipes, uh, diaper liners, anything and everything that I could have prepared would have been nice. But what I ended up doing is getting both of the baby's diaper bags, I emptied them completely out and I filled each diaper bag up with their corresponding diapers. I didn't think about what diapers I was grabbing. Granted, I was in a crisis mode and so I wasn't thinking super clearly. I just grabbed any diapers that I could. Now, my one piece of advice as far as that goes is to grab easy diapers. Bring diapers that don't have a lot of parts. If you have all-in-one diapers, bring those. The easiest diapers that you possibly have. Now, if you are going like on a train or a bus or a plane, obviously that's different than traveling by car or in, ve in a vehicle where you have more space. So in those instances, I would recommend to grab like diaper covers and flats or you know just your standard diaper insert because that's going to be a lot less bulk in your luggage so that's what I would do in those instances so if you're going to be traveling and space isn't an issue I would bring like all-in-ones or the easiest diapers that you have because you're not going to be wanting to put diapers together or deal with a lot of pieces and then when you're dealing with poopy diapers it's less to deal with there's less layers like I love Grovia hybrid diapers for example but for a poopy diaper there's a lot of places that need to get cleaned out there's a lot of crevices there's a lot and it's a lot when you're on the road so that brings me to my next point is a cloth diaper sprayer if you can bring one I would recommend bringing one I did bring one however my husband wasn't with me to hook it up and I do know how to hook them up but I couldn't find any tools to bring with me we ended up staying in a hotel room I tried to figure out how to hook it up and I couldn't so I was out of town with all these diapers these babies no diaper sprayer and I brought a lot of diapers like this one that were really difficult to clean poop out of. There was just, it was a lot. That's another big recommendation is to bring diaper liners, disposable liners if you have them because then you could just lift that disposable liner out of the diaper and throw it away or flush it with any poopy mess. If you don't have disposable liners, then micro fleece liners would be the next best thing because generally most poops you can dump off of the liner and if it's a really, really, really bad poop, these are inexpensive enough that you can throw them away. So diaper liners are a must and I completely forgot to bring them. So I was out of town without a diaper sprayer, without diaper liners and two babies that poop a lot. 
The next thing that I would recommend to bring if you can't bring a diaper sprayer are plastic spoons. I discovered that plastic spoons work very well. This is gross, this is TMI, but they work very good for scraping the poop out of a dirty diaper into any toilet that is accessible to you. So I would keep a emergency bag with diaper liners already in it for wipes or cloth wipes and cloth wipe solution if you're going to want to use those when you're out of town and then spoons. If you have a spare diaper sprayer, I would also keep that in your emergency bag as well so that you're not trying to unhook the diaper sprayer that you already have and get all the pieces and bring pliers or a wrench or whatever you need to install it and have all of that to deal with as well. So if you have an extra one, even in the box, I would keep that in an emergency bag as well. Also, for cloth diapering and traveling, I would bring as many wet bags as you can. I would bring small wet bags, as like, like I said, as many as you can, because I found myself, you know, we were at Walmart, we were in the hospital room, we were all over the place. My babies would have a poopy diaper, and I didn't have enough wet bags. I didn't pack adequately. I think I packed maybe two of them, and without a diaper sprayer, you're just going to want to seal it up and deal with it when you can, when you either get to somewhere that you can deal with it or when you get home. So bring as many of these as you possibly can. Also, large, large wet bags or pail liners. If you are staying in a hotel, one that has a handle on it is a great option. I hung this one on the hotel room door, works excellent. And so because I didn't have a diaper sprayer, I at least had a couple of the large wet bags or pail liners with me. So I would highly recommend bringing at least a couple, two to four, as many as you have of the large wet bags or pail liners. Thankfully, I had brought a couple of these large ones and I used one for just pee diapers and I used one for poopy diapers so that when I got home, I could just throw the wet diapers directly into the washing machine and not have to worry about spraying any of them out or trying to stain treat any of them or anything like I normally do with poopy diapers. And then the poopy diapers I was able to deal with when we got home. Like I said, I didn't have a diaper sprayer. We were out of town for several days. And so when I got home, I had a full bag of poopy diapers. It was awful. And so it was seriously like an hour of spraying out poopy diapers. And that was not fun. So if you can bring a diaper sprayer, if we had been gone any longer, I would have found a laundry mat and dealt with some of the cloth diaper laundry. If you're going out of town and able to stay with relatives, that is wonderful. Hopefully they'll let you use their washing machine for doing diapers, but some people are real squeamish about that and don't want you to use their washing machine for it because they just don't understand that diapers do get clean in the washing machine and there isn't poop left over all over in their washing machine. So even if you're staying with friends or family, you still might come across this issue where you have to deal with all of them when you come home. So I do highly recommend using one for potty diapers and one for poo diapers. Also, as far as the diapers go, pack way more diapers than you think you need. Pack a ton of diapers and then when you think you have enough, pack a few more because we were out of town for I think it was three days and we used pretty much every diaper that I brought. I thought that I had more than enough, like plenty. Like I wouldn't even go through what I had and we were almost at the end of the diapers by the end of those three days. Definitely pack as many as you possibly can. I did bring disposable wipes with us. Normally we use a mix of disposable wipes and cloth wipes. I was in such a hurry to leave the house that I didn't even grab any cloth wipes because that would have been another whole thing. Cloth wipes, the wipe solution, a wipe container, just everything. And so I did already have disposable wipes in the car. I grabbed a couple extra packages uh, of like seventh generation. Any of the like greener or natural wipes I feel are much safer than like the standard Pampers or Huggies. They just don't have all the chemicals in them. And so I did bring disposable wipes with us. I found that easier while we were traveling. 
to not have to worry about cloth wipes as well. But if that's something that's important to you or something that you use full time all the time, then by all means bring them when you are traveling. You can add them to your emergency bag if you end up making one after you watch this video, which I highly recommend you do because heaven forbid anything ever happens to one of your loved ones or you're in a situation where you just have to up and leave, at least you are somewhat prepared. At least you are you know, half the way there when you have it half ready to go. That is basically what I brought and what I recommend you bringing. Uh, like I said, I just packed the two diaper bags full, full, full of diapers. One for Gunner and one for Georgia. I had at first just piled them all in one of these tail liners. I had just piled all the diapers in there and then I discovered that it was like, I mean, it was full like a trash bag. It was just full. And so I took them out and lined them up and put them in the diaper bag and they fit in there much more compact and better. And so it took a little bit more time, but then they, I had much more room by doing it that way. So I recommend, you know, putting them in a bag and like lining them up in there, unless you're bringing flats and covers. Uh, or something like that, then I would just, you know, lay the covers maybe in the bottom and stack all the flats or inserts inside of it. I put them all in a diaper bag. Then I kept them both in the car so that we had access to either bag while we were in the car traveling. Then when, once we got to the hotel room, we brought both bags in and I just left them right by the bathroom. So whenever I needed a diaper, I would just grab whichever baby's diaper I needed. When we were leaving the hotel room to go to like the hospital or the store or wherever, I would just grab a couple diapers for each baby and one wet bag. And I didn't bring enough wet bags, like I said, so I would bring two or three at least for each outing out wherever you're going. So then I'd have some of my diapers, the wet bag, and I would just bring that with us to the hospital. Definitely don't forget to bring changes of clothes because we did have a couple diapers that leaked because I wasn't able to change the babies in time. So anticipate that when you're traveling as well. A lot of times you just can't get to the diapers as quickly as you can when you're home. And so sometimes leaks or accidents do happen. So make sure you also bring extra clothes, which is a it's a hassle, but it's just the name of the game because I had a couple of times where I had babies running around with at least a clean diaper, but no pants. So make sure you bring those when you're leaving as well. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. When I got home, I was like, I have to make that video about traveling with cloth diapers while it was all still fresh and I had all these points. I was like, I have to remember this, have to remember this, have to remember this. And now that I'm home and it's been like two weeks, I'm already starting to forget little details about it. And so I hope I remember everything. If I forget anything, I will probably just add it on the bottom of the screen or somewhere I'll add little cards in here. I think that's pretty much it. My husband is home now and he's been in and out of the hospital here in our town, but at least he is home and he's healthy and he's still alive and he's with us. So I hope that that a horrible experience is able to help some of you guys in the future when you are traveling with cloth diapering. Uh, like I said, it was very fast when I was packing and I didn't think some things through and so I'm really hoping that that experience can help you guys in the future. So if you guys have any cloth diapering while traveling tips, please, please, please leave them down in the comments for other people to read. I definitely don't claim to know everything there is to know about traveling and cloth diapering. I know there is a lot and I'm sure that I missed things. I'm sure there's other hints and tips and tricks that lots of people have. So please leave them down in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. There's always lots of cloth diapering videos, information, education, reviews, giveaways, and more. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for the next cloth diapering video. Okay, bye guys.